What's up everyone, it's Ashido, your favorite pink cat. Today we're playing a game called Contract Demon by Nam Nam Nami. So yeah, let's uh, sit back and hope you enjoy the game. Okay, Contract Demon. Man, my melodies reach deep its pits of the netherworld. And, and uh, to side note, if you hear explosions in the background, it is the 4th of July when I'm recording this. So everyone's, you know, let's go America. Woo! Camilla, if you're listening, I invite you to this world. Let's form a contract. So you've called upon me again, Ellen. Tremble in fear, pathetic fool, for I am from the very depths of oblivion. Have from the uh, brow, Lola. Oh. The book you asked for. Eee, show me, show me. Here, a comprehensive guide to capturing princesses. Not sure why you want a guidebook aimed at overlord level demons, but... Of course I'd like it. It's important to learn what kinds of knowledge they want to pass down to future generations. You're not seriously vying to become an overlord, are you? Uh, I wonder. By the way, do you really have to wear those robes every time you summon me? Yes, it's part of the ritual. This is the third time we've done this. I have to be dressed for the ritual, Camilla. And this is the daily ritual necessary to our original contract. If I don't set the mood, it won't be as fun to give you an excuse to make a fun demonic entrance, too. An entrance I make is demonic? For I am... A fearsome demon, a creature born from the the nightmares of pathetic humans. Is that re really how demons are born? Do you think I could dream a demon to existence too? No, that's not really... But I dream about demons all the time. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I'm an angel? No, I, 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 I meant we're supposed to be like a human's worst fear. I don't know. Uh, then how are demons born? Just never never mind. Why why are we talking about this? You're the one who brought it up. Here, let me get the lights. Ah, that's much better. Then don't bother with the atmosphere in the first place. It's okay if I come up with a new task for you so I can get to reading the new book. Uh, yeah, I mean... Don't casually believe I'll obey your whims. Think seriously as to what you'll offer your soul. Your next wish may be your last. Oh, is, is there a three wish limit? Like a genie? That was supposed to be like a threat on your life? Let's do a one contract per day minimum. This is my new contract with you. Refused. What? I thought that would be a good one. I can't let myself be monopolized by one client. I'm just starting out. I need a wider range of experience. So I can't play with you every day? Absolutely not, fool. You think demon summoning is a game? These contracts have grave consequences for your soul. Oh, I don't care about that. Whatever the price to talk to a demon, I'll pay it. Seriously? If asking you to come back every day is too much, then my next contract is for you to hang out with me for the next 24 hours. Weren't you about to read the book I brought you? I can find some time to entertain you in the meantime. What's important is that we're here together. Plus, this is basically an a denim to our original contract. Branch, it's been time together. Aren't we friends, Camilla? Due to that contract, yes. Ongoing and 
interactions would be required. I think I just don't realize ongoing meant daily. You're agreeing to this one though, right? I have no objections. It's it's fair contract. The next 24 hours hanging out with you and then you give me a break for a few days, all right? Okay. Good, then it's decided. I mean, the contract is sealed. Mwahahaha. New contract. Has a time obligation to be back tomorrow. Okay, no lasagna for you tonight. I'll have leftovers. Not if I eat it all. Not if I eat it all. Brother. You are truly a demon among demons. If only I could learn from your evil ways. Such praise. I'll leave you my scraps out of mercy. Wow, I'm grateful. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done reading yet? I'm bored. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take a break. This book is really funny. I'm sure the author would be disappointed to hear that, considering it's a technical manual. Do you finish reading that comic? Uh, yeah, like an hour ago. What do you think? Is any of the demon lore accurate? It's totally in line with my vision of the netherworld, so I have to know. Uh, you aren't the least bit embarrassed to say a comic called Succubus Sex Party is your vision of the netherworld? You know, I mean, for me, that sounds okay. It's my ideal. Was it too good to be true? Yeah. Also, you're pretty brave to hand over your porn to someone you barely know. That's one pretty time. Besides, you re read all the way through, so it must have been fine. I, I didn't have anything else to do. Do you like succubus ladies too, Camilla? We're not talking about this. <laughs> okay, sorry. Then what do you want to do next? Uh, I don't know. You're the host here. Friend stuff. Demon friend stuff. What do demon friends normally do? Demon friends? Hmm. <laughs> Demons despise the very idea of petty friendships. What a waste of time. So there's no demon friend stuff to do? Of course not, you fool. Then let's play Capture the Princess. You be the overlord and I will be the princess. Uh huh. Is that a real thing? I just made it up. Try to capture me. Isn't this just tag? Demons play tag too. Hee <laughs> hee. Very well. I shall engage in this game of tag. <sighs> the evil overlord is after me. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll capture and imprison you like a true overlord will do. Wah! I'm cornered. I have you now, princess. Oh no, what are you gonna do to me? Uh, I imprison you, right? What about after that? Wait for a hero to come, challenge me, and then slay his remorseless. <laughs> slay him remorselessly. <laughs> hey, hey, so you'll fight to protect me, Miss Overlord. Uh, hold on. Are princesses supposed, supposed to talk like that to their captors? This one does. Isn't that kind of messed up? We're just playing, but if you don't like it, I guess we can do something else. Are you hungry? Oh, what do demons eat? Meat, right? Stop right there. No, do not try to serve me something weird like human flesh, okay? Mind reader, we're really on the same wavelength now. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're a dangerous angel. So, what should I cook? Or maybe food made by an angel would poison you? Didn't consider that. I'd only become poison if you put something weird in it. Maybe I'd- it'd be better off 
Maybe I'd be better off eating out. No, 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 you can't go outside. Everyone would freak out. Oh, right. Angels. We might be able to disguise you if you're... If not for your big, long horns. Or maybe you can put some stockings over them to look like a bunny? Pass. Just order pizza or something. Pizza? Demon pizza! They're not going to deliver from the netherworld. Just order your regular angel pizza. Hehe. <laughs> okay, I'll order pizza. I got pizza for dinner. That's very lasagna adjust adjacent. Will you still want leftovers? Please. What's that? Huh? My phone? A demon phone? This is my first time seeing one in real life. Do angels not have smartphones? Nope. But I've read a little about them. Smartphones were invented by the great demon Kanada who wanted personal handheld access to the nether web and then his idea was stolen and mass produced and now demons can be contacted all the time so it's so incredible angels don't have things like that yeah that sounds inconvenient not really our lifestyles don't really call for it plus they're illegal I illegal were you texting someone my brother. You have a brother? Whoa, yes, also my, he's also my supervisor. A brother and a supervisor, is he strict? Does he look like you? Is he even taller? Sometimes uh, somewhat similar and yeah, he's taller than me. That's so tall, are all demons really tall? I wonder what the average height for, is for demons. Do you have any family, uh, Aline? Elaine. That's how, yeah. Nah, who needs them? It's just me. Huh? You can access the netherweb through your phone, right? Even though you're not in the netherworld? Oh, uh, I have reception through the summoning circle, yeah. Wow. If you want to borrow it, we're going to need to do a new contract. No, no, it's too much power. I'm not ready for the nether web yet. Sure. But if you wanted to, we could, um, watch a movie? A demon movie? Yes, a demon movie. Can we? Can we please? Uh, but are you prepared? Your eyes could melt out of your skull from the blatant darkness of demonic horror cinema. Melt my eyes, please, Camilla. Very well. Turn the light or turn down the lights and brace um your very soul. Fell asleep. You gonna finish it by yourself. This job is cool. I just got to watch Train to uh, Abdon and take a long nap. Reminder. Not to date your client, Camilla. It's not a date, lol. Can't two people watch a movie without it being a date? What's your problem? Wait, were you joking? Now I'm embarrassed. We should talk when you get back. Okay, but just to be clear, I'm not dating my client. Yet. Oh, you're already up. <laughs> I slept for so long, I it must have been worn out from how exciting yesterday was. Do you need a shower or anything? No. Oh, do demons bathe? Yes, demons bathe. <laughs> sorry, just asking. No, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap or anything. You just ask a lot of questions like that. It's okay, you're right. I have been asking you too many questions. Can we watch more demon movies? Oops, that's another question. Yeah, there's time for one more until my 24 hours are up. Aw, you'll really have to go? That was the contract. Let's do another contract once the time's up. I already have explained this to you. You get one per summon. I can't go against regulations or I could lose my job. 
Oh yeah. And don't forget your our contract this time states you must refrain from summoning for the next three days, so even if you try, it won't work. Yeah, I know. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just feeling really tired for some reason. Ha! <laughs> I think I just need to eat something. R right, um... Get some food and I'll pick a movie. Wanna see more demon zombies? Oh, Camilla. You really know the way to my heart. And so their contract ends. Welcome back. Hey. Is now a good time? Did you prepare a lecture? You totally have the wrong idea, you know. Haha, <laughs> please, just listen, Camilla. Some means are our clients. Nothing more, nothing less. We fulfill requests and they repay us with bits of their soul. And then one day when they die, the netherworld claims the rest and they're reborn as a demon. I know how it works. Then you know that our job is important. We can't advise our services. We can only wait for our souls from other worlds to call upon us. We depend on our limited clientele to rely on us in a personal manner. The more contracts they make, the sooner the netherworld can claim their soul, which is why dating a summoner becomes problematic. Do you understand? I'm not dating at her, Olga. Olgo. What kind of demon goes on dates anyway? I don't have a romantic bone in my body. So there's no problem. Friendships are off limits, too. My point stands. Camilla, you can't be friends with someone you are literally draining their life from. Yeah, tell that to her. Hmm. Not a problem, she... Contractually obliged, obligated to not summon me for three whole days. 24 hours together and then three days apart. I would love to read over your contract with that witch. Says she's an angel. Background check says she's a witch. Why would an angel summon a demon? Don't know. Are angels even real? They must be, right? In some world cut off from our own. Hmm. Two weeks later. Are you sure there haven't been any summoned attempts in the past week? Just like I said yesterday, your witch must be busy with something. This is weird. Yeah, it is. It's weird. You did you do something to scare her off? No. I I mean I don't think so. You seem kind of frantic, Cammy. It's weird, isn't it? Someone summons you three days in a row, then nothing for two weeks. What do you, what did I do wrong? You're the sentimental type, aren't you? I'm not sentimental. I'm a demon. Want me to hook you up with a new summoner? But, I don't know. See, sentimental. You don't want to give up on the one you had. That's not it. Ugh, ask me again tomorrow. I'm clocking out. I'm not sentimental. She really wanted to keep summoning me. That's what was... What was she saying? Is it so weird that she isn't? There's nothing more to it. It's just, just something weird that happened, and I want to know why. That's all that, that is. Why does everyone think it's because I got attracted to her or something? It's so... It's all so stupid. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. Meanwhile... I can't believe they found me out. I can't go back there now. Oh, but my ritual gear... There's no... There's... Oh, sorry. Oh, but my ritual gear. There's nowhere else I could have left it. Oh, wow. I want to see Camilla again. Oh, is this love? Love between an angel and demon? Even if it's what I hope for, I don't seriously expect it. Well, how can I summon her again? I'd have to get a new flute. And the rug, too. That took a lot of effort to get. Right. Uh -huh. Unless... Hee <laughs> hee. 
That's crazy enough to work. And if it does work, we must be soulmates. Oh no, I really like the sound of that. Well, I never thought I would have a real crush. Wait for me, Camilla. We'll... Wait for me, Camilla. We'll reunite for sure. Two more weeks pass. Oh, Camilla's gonna be distraught. If you want to be as successful as a contract teammate, you'll need to be able to find common ground with each new client. Sometimes a summoner may ask for something truly unreasonable, but that's not where you should be saying, shying away. Rather, it's a point of attack. If you can at least meet them halfway, then both parties will come out of the deal satisfied. Camilla? You're paying attention. Yeah. Then please try a little harder to get your next contract settled. It's a waste of everyone's time when negotiations are just dropped. Oh, there was nothing to negotiate with that last one. It was just another sex thing. Why are humans so obsessed with getting fucked by demons? Language, Camilla. Whatever, everyone who summons me is an idiot. Look, I know you've been feeling a little depressed after your first client disappeared, but isn't it time to move forward? I still think it's weird. And I'm not depressed about it. Stop saying that every time I happen to look tired. Sorry, but client... Sorry, but... Clearly, it's still bothering you and affecting your work ethic, which is why I have to bring it up as your supervisor. You want to talk about it? Maybe some other times. Sorry, I'll try to focus on work. Alright, I'm here to listen whenever you're ready. Another entire month passes. Oh no. Those were angel wings, right? Or is it cosplay? Dude, if they were real angels in the netherworld, wouldn't we have to duke it out like as demons aren't supposed to, aren't we supposed to? Angel wings. Camilla, I finally found you. What? Why are you here? Oh, so long story. I got kicked out of where I was living and then I lost some of my summoning gear. A real tragedy, I know. So I couldn't summon you at all. And then I thought, why don't I just go to the netherworld and find her? So I made my way here, and now we're finally reunited. You- You! Find me in the netherworld? As if that's so easy to do, the netherworld is huge! I know. Do you? Do you have any idea how lucky you are that we just so happened to cross paths today? Fate brought us back together. Fate? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually gone to a lot of different demon cities looking for you, you know. You have to go home. What? After all this? Take me to your place. Uh, uh, um, that would be a really bad idea. Hey, are you a real angel? Yeah, hey there. P please stop, you're drawing a crowd. Uh, uh, uh. What are you doing in a netherworld? Aren't you going to get killed? Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, you can come to my place. Let's go. Hooray! Hee hee hee. I'm in Camilla's room. We're lucky my brother isn't here. Uh, what did you bring with you? Do you happen to have your robe in that bag? Yeah, I brought it. Why? Because my brother can't know who you are. If you want to stay here for a bit, you need to pretend to be a demon. Oh, I see. So you get to dress me up like a demon, but I don't get to dress you up like a bunny? What? Never mind that. Put on the robe and then, uh, we need to do something about your skin tone. Get. He's here. The robe should be enough. Just keep your hood low, okay? Okay. Hey Camilla, for dinner I was thinking- Oh, I didn't realize you had someone over. Oh look, this is my friend we met in the nether nether web. She's 
Shira, men, so please make yourself scarce. Sorry I invited her here without any notice. Hmm. Alright, sorry to intrude. I'll knock when dinner's ready. He really does look like you. And he's taller, like you said. That was a pretty good lie about me. To one that only works if he's polite. Polite demon. What's the catch, I wonder? This is Strout. Mila? This is so stressful. What's stressful? I'm having fun. Uh, El Ellen. Uh, I've just been going with the flow, but what do I have to pretend to be a demon again? Because I wasn't supposed to make friends with clients. But over a very first contract was to be friends. I know, I messed up. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm really causing a lot of trouble for you by coming here, huh? It's, it's not your fault. I couldn't just not see you again. I'm sorry. I didn't summon you like normal. I should have tried harder to get the stuff for it again. When I thought about somehow finding myself, I got really excited and had my heart set on doing that. Huh, sounds just like you. Camilla, I've had a lot of time to think while I was searching for you. I love demons, but I can't be satisfied becoming friends with just any demon. It has to be you. Uh, oh. And for corrupting my heart like that, you must be punished. Punishing me? Well, you were punished enough by me showing you up and causing trouble, so now we're even. Haha, <laughs> you're so outrageous. Tee <laughs> do you, you miss me, Camilla? I... I don't know, maybe I was fixated on you out of guilt, but I actually had a lot of fun whenever you summoned me. You know, because you had a contract with a demon, your soul belongs to the netherworld? That's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me, Camilla. I'm being serious. Each contract takes a bit of your soul's payment, and when you die, you'll be reborn as a demon. I'll be a demon? That just keeps getting better. You know... No, you don't understand. It won't be you anymore. You don't get to keep any of your memories when you're reborn. Oh. I thought I could do this job. I thought I could be the big scared demon taking souls in exchange for favors. But I never wanted to do a favor again if it meant I'm chipping away at your life. It's fucked up. I don't mind. Elaine. I don't care if it hurts me. I don't regret summoning you. Uh, so I guess it's good that I'm here. I came after all. I won't summon you anymore. We can just get together like normal friends. Oh, yeah, if you're not my client, then we can be friends. Or girlfriends. Um. Looks like dinner is ready. Thanks, old Olga. Olga. I'm just saying, Camilla. Think about it, okay? Mm. Later that night? So, that's everything that happened. Sorry, I couldn't talk about it before. I understand why it would be hard to ta talk with me about all that. I can also imagine you wanted the problem to conventionally fade away without having to tell me your mistake. It was looking like it might until she showed up today. Right, so here we are. Hey, Olga, Olgo? Is there a way to cancel a contract? Hmm. I never should have made it. I should have shouldn't have agreed. I was just going with the flow. Does being her friend outside of summoning still count as me doing her a favor? 
that's keeping keep taking bits of her soul it was my first contract what did i settle it on something so vague think it'd be fine i'm an idiot well if the contract is interpreted as the fact of starting a friendship rather than the act of maintaining the friendship they could just amend the original contract to have it clear have a clear language both parties can sign and you be free even freeing yourself from her own contract <laughs> typically that's a client trying to free themselves from some of the more nasty contracts yep and I managed to turn it around that's how bad a failure I am as a contract demon are you going to quit oh after all this absolutely thanks for having me but this is my two-week notice fair enough I'll miss you around the office but it's for the best so we can really just amend the contract and the friendship thing is isn't a contract anymore yep just clarify the intention and there's no risk of more of her soul being taken good good so when are you going to properly introduce me to this girl is she really afraid of men haha <laughs> no she's a demon fanatic so she'll just ask you a thousand strange questions you should be afraid of her Noted, I'll have to clear up my schedule a bit if she really has so many questions for me. Alright, I'm going back inside. Thanks for the talk. And dinner, it was really good, as always. Sure thing. Don't stay up too late. Night, Olga. Olg. I, I, it's hard. I don't know. Hey, sorry to keep you. Are you going through my things? I was just looking... You have more gains and comments than I expected. Is that where you get your inspiration for being demonic-like? Never mind that. So about our first contract. Olog. I'll say it like that. Olog says we can amend it so that it's that is already ex Oh my gosh. So that it's already expectedly fulfilled that way there's no risk of me hurting you by being your friend oh you're worried about that i returned you whatever the price i had to pay to be with you it's worth it don't say that it's like throwing your life away i don't want you to do that then is it possible you return my feelings just because i don't want you to die that's quite a stretch <laughs> okay we can amend the contract. Good. good. There's everything in order. All the contracts together have been fulfilled, so you don't have to give up any more of your soul. Now we're free to be friends. Or girlfriends. Slow, slow down. We can be friends, okay? Okay, now what? Now, um... Well... It's pretty late, so you may as well stay the night. <laughs> Last time you had a sleepover with me, and now I get to have one with you? Yep, that's how it turned out. You're big as bad as mine was, so we'll have to cuddle pretty close. I'll sleep on the floor. Wink, wink. Uh, wink, wink. Oh, even though we slept in the same bed before, you're going to. You're being so shy. It's different now, and don't say it like that. Okay. Do, um... Do you, uh, need to borrow pajamas or anything? No, these are my pajamas. Do you own any normal clothes? Of course I do, they're just not as comfy. Haha, <laughs> you're so strange. Well, what do your pajamas look like? Then we'll see who's strange. What? Are you even expecting? Fine, I'll show you. Um, actually, I'll change in the bathroom. Why? It's embarrassing. So shy. Eee! See, normal. You lose the not strange contest. I'll happily lose if I get to see you look this cute. Hee hee hee. 
you can't even lose normally, you weirdo. Hmm, it's more fun to be strange anyways. Hey Camilla, is it hard to sleep on your side of on your side because of your horns? Huh, not really. I guess now that I think of it, I usually sleep more on my stomach. Your your horns you ever get hit the bar of the bed frame? Is that why you your pillow placed down lower? Or have you ever impaled your wall in an accident having a big horn seems so dangerous? Are you gonna ask me weirdly specific questions all night? <laughs> oh no, I forgot it makes you mad. <laughs> you don't have to answer. Anyways, are you tired? Should we do anything before bed? I wanna read one of your books. Oh, okay, I meant something we could do t together, but that's fine too. Don't worry, it's totally something we can do together, since the kind of book I wanted to ask for is... Oh... Whispers. Adult comics. I don't have any! Not that I'm willing to share, anyway. I have to keep my stat secrets safe. Hmm... I hope you'll share with me one day. But, you know, comics like that just wouldn't satisfy me anymore, not since... You corrupted my heart. Your heart was plenty corrupt before the beginning. But you know... Oh. Heart was... Oh, okay. Do you have any demon anatomy books? Maybe that'll be enough. See, you're corrupt as hell. I'll be your dark angel, Camilla. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay over. We can go to sleep now if you want. Alright, I'll set up my sleeping bag. Camilla? Hmm. Happy I didn't give up on looking for you. I was really- it was really worth it. Is it okay if I hold your hand for a while? You have hands under those sleeves. Hmm. What if they were- Feathery bird hands, would you be surprised? Let's see. Hmm, feels normal. How disappointing. Heh, <laughs> normal, really? Well, I guess they're pretty small to me, but I'm more used to demon hands. Elaine? Sorry, I just wanted to take in the moment a little. Thanks, Camilla. Being, uh, I'm being too nice, probably. I got carried away because she suddenly came back. That's all this is. Holding her hand was pretty incrementing, though. Oh. Holding her hand was pretty incriminating, though. That could easily be mistaken for something romantic. Uh, not only am I a failure as a Conrad Jr., but as a demon in general. What kind of demon gets into a relationship like this? Can't even make sense of these feelings. Is it because I actually started to like her? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, this, this can't go on. I have to get some of, of my self-respect back as a demon. I have to be mean. Uh-oh. The next day... You made me wear the robe again. I think you like seeing me in this after all. No, I just don't want you to draw attention like yesterday. You can parade around the netherworld as an angel. It's dangerous. I've been parading around as an angel the whole time I was looking for you. Yeah, I really don't know how you managed that. Maybe it was my angelic luck? But seriously, what makes it so dangerous? Well, angels represented everything a demon should hate someone might try to start a fight do you hate angels camilla no comment what no fair you have to answer i don't have a strong opinion either way you're the only angel i've met hmm by the way where are you taking me to the station i'm sitting at home what i don't want to go home we just re reunited Right, now you, 
where I now you know where I live, so you can come back whenever you want. What's the problem? You're so cold, even though we held hands for so long last night. Don't, don't say that so loud. Other demons will get the wrong idea. Well, we did. You can't just send me away after that. Besides, didn't I mention before? I don't have to have a home to go back to at the moment. Oh, where have you been staying until then? Been living the life of a vagabond. Right, well, I quit my job yesterday, so I kind of need to look for a new one. Can't hang out with you today. Then I'll wait at your place. I'll be good. You can't stay with us. You saw how small our apartment is. Olog doesn't even get his own room. Fine, I'll just become your neighbor instead. Take me to your landlord. That That's some form of harassment, isn't it? I'm sorry, I just don't want to be too far away from you because of... Ugh, the pain in my heart. I've been messing around. I'm not messing around. I really, really like you. Which is a new feeling for me. Uh, oh, I, I guess no one's ever liked me that much before. Wait, stop. We're not doing this. Demons don't do romance. That's okay. I don't expect anything from you. I just wanted to be honest about my feelings at the very least. I won't lie to you about it. I'll find a place to stay so that I'm not bothering you and your brother. So... Is it okay if we meet up again tomorrow? Um, yeah, okay. Hee <laughs> hee, okay, bye for now, Camilla. Mmm. I'm an idiot. I'm trying to push her away even though she likes me so much. Even though I, I, I like being around her too. Fool, moron, dumbass, what am I doing? But it's not like I can be just her girlfriend either. It's too undemon like Wait, when did I start caring so much about what's right for a demon to do? To get a good impression of the netherworld, I started thinking away just for my job, which I just quit. Which means it could be okay after all? This is stupid. I need some outside input. I'll text Olog. Do demons do romance? LOL. <laughs> Damn him, I should've asked in person. I might as well drop by the office then. Where's my brother? Off stealing a contract, duh. Damn it, I need to talk to him. Why, what's up, Cammy? You know what? Yeah, I may actually be better to talk to you. I can't always rely on my brother for everything. Ah, uh, how mature. I mean, you've been seeing a few other women as far as I know, so maybe you can help me. Oh, like you need help getting laid? Yeah, don't talk to your brother about that. Haha, <laughs> that was actually really... He... isn't he asexual anyways? Yes, no, it's not a sex thing. I wouldn't be so conflicted if it was. Huh, then what's the deal? the romance thing oh it's that witch you were obsessed with oh that's so cute uh, obsessed it's a bit of an overstatement I think it's so cute that a demon would love someone even enough to be in that kind of romance or be in that kind of relationship with most demons just aren't that way you know Alright, demons don't fall in love normally. D demons don't do such pathetic things like holding hands. You held her hand? This is more serious than I thought. I... I just feel like it's the right thing to do in the moment. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't know. Uh, well, I've never been in a romantic relationship, so I can't offer any advice there. If you need advice for the bedroom, though, hit me up. Sure. Oh, hold on. Olog just texted me. You should do what makes you happy. Don't worry so much about giving your feelings as a name if it doesn't sit well with you yet. In time, it may or may not. Either way is valid. Good luck, sis. 
You got a better answer from him, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> thanks for your help anyways. I'll be seeing her tomorrow again. Oh, so soon. You better tell me how it goes. I will. Oh, by the way, I quit yesterday. What? Dropped a bombshell. And so... Here it is, my new apartment. As of today, I'm officially a resident of the netherworld. You really moved in overnight. I'm starting to think your luck is real. <laughs> the landlord ended up liking me a lot, so everything went really smoothly. Seriously, though, this is so uncanny. It looks exactly like your old place in here. Yep. Isn't magic so convenient? Picking up and unpacking is so easy, even though I ended up losing some things. Oh, that's right, Camilla. I have something very important to tell you. What is it? After yesterday, I did a lot of thinking. Get the feeling that you like me at least a little bit. But maybe I haven't opened up enough yet for you to like me all the way. So I'd conflict with my goals to hide things from now on, which means I have to confess. Okay. I've actually been a witch this whole time. Oh. Calling myself an angel and pretending like I lived in an angel town was all just part of my roleplay. My wings aren't real either. I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you don't hate me. I already knew. What? What? Yeah, when a Contra Demon is summoned, the identity of the summoner shows up in the system. I knew from the start. But why didn't you say anything if you knew I was lying about being an angel? What would be the point of trying to call you out on it? I mean, I've been wondering your reasons, sure, but in the end, I just chalked it up as you being a weirdo. No, I have very legitimate reasons for pretending to be an angel. Let's hear it then. Like, I like being an angel because a witch and a demon couple just isn't as exciting to me. So that's been some kind of romantic pursuit from the very beginning. No, it was supposed to be a sexual pursuit. It just happened to turn romantic before we even got to that point. <laughs> I take it back. You might really be unlucky after all. Why? Because you're still gonna reject me? No, it's not that. You're unlucky because I think most other contract demons would have been down to fuck. Camilla, you can't say fuck in an angel's house. Haha, <laughs> you said it too. Camilla! Oof. Hey, you can't just tackle me on the bed every time you want to punish me. I'm the host right now, so I can do whatever I want. Last time was at my house. As a guest, I can do what I want to. The bottom line is, I can do whatever I want, and you just have to deal with it. Like this. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm so happy. I get to cuddle with Camilla. I'll allow it for today. Um, hey, Elaine. I actually have something I wanted to say to you. Okay, if, if you're going to tell me you were just role-playing a demon all along, I don't want to hear it. Not that. Sorry about yesterday, when you showed up again after so long. I had a lot of confusing feelings to sort out. It took me a little while to um, accept how I feel about you. With... Which I still don't know what to call exactly. But maybe it's something close to a romantic feeling, even though that's weird for a demon to have. So I guess a fake demon after all. Fake demon and fake angel couple? That's a pretty good premise. Okay, I'll accept you as a my girlfriend. That's what I was trying to say to you. Hehehe. <laughs> I didn't think I'd reach my goal so fast. I'll have to move on to the next one. Haha, <laughs> and what could that possibly be? I have a lot of embarrassing ones that I can't say out loud. There's surprises for me. <laughs> my girlfriend? I already regret this. Wanna know one of the goals I can actually tell you? Sure. Become the next overlord and then I'll make you my secretary. Haha, <laughs> well, I did need a new job. 
Moves aside, it will take over the netherworld together. Such a dangerous angel. Hehe. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Story and art by Nami Nami. I like that. That was very cute. That was very cute. Thank you for making this so I can read it. So that was Contract Demon. Uh, I want to go ahead and just thank everybody so much for the support. If you want to see me play more visual novels, just let me know. Uh, drop some down below that I can check out and play. Because uh, I really do like getting back into some visual novels. It's just nice sitting down and reading. Especially this. It was such a cute story. I'll have the link if you want to play it for yourself down below. Well, that's going to do it. It's Ashido. Peace out. Bye-bye.